if you are not drinking your water, I cannot help you. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to Minds Behind the Music. I am your host, L.A. Today is part three of maintaining your voice. And what I want to specifically talk about are the things you consume. This video is going to be relatively short today because I will be helping Greg with his podcast in a little bit. But I first want to show you tea. This is specifically, this is chamomile tea. It's, I personally, this is one of my favorites and you should always consume hot tea. A common method that vocalists do before they go up and perform and like perform like for a big night, they, they get themselves some tea, lemon and honey. And that actually helps. Sometimes what I did whenever I did theater back in high school was I would heat some hot water, add some lemon to that, and sometimes add some add some honey to that as well. And I would have that to drink before I went on and performed because even even boiling hot water or making hot water and mixing it with tea and honey uh, mixing it with lemons and honey, that could even help, which would also be considered tea as well. But definitely hot tea water has been another big help. It really opens up your voice too. Tea really does that. Um, like I said, drink your water. If you're not drinking your water, I cannot help you, and you are doomed. <laughs> not really, but water is a very essential part of of your everyday life, and it also helps you vocally. Another thing I would uh, advise is consume less dairy. Like if you get like coffee or like get a, a latte, try to have it with coconut milk. Try to have it with something that isn't like dairy. Like definitely that. And try to ease up on the caffeine. Like I went to an ear, nose, and throat specialist uh, about a year and a half ago about you know, my, my vocals and my sinuses, um, definitely, definitely keep watch of the, ca your caffeine consumption, because that's a big part of your voice, and that could really strongly affect it. Another thing that I do that helps, and if you got allergies like me, Flonase, like this is a nasal spray specifically for allergies, um, if you have allergies like me, like really bad sinuses, get sinus infections a lot, definitely get this because this helps a great deal. Um, I would not advise taking allergy meds even even as like allergies affect you. And this, this may not work for everyone, but definitely use Flonase, two sprays in the nose on each nostril. And that should be good. That actually has helped me a lot vocally. It's opened up my voice because for someone that has allergies, my sinuses strongly affect my voice. And if you never tried nasal spray or tried Flonase, I would suggest you do because that helps a great deal. And definitely keep in mind of the food you eat, like the food you consume, because that's definitely a, another big part if you're like consuming junk food 24 7 that will strongly affect your voice if you're having too much dairy that can strongly affect your voice i'm not saying to not eat dairy at all although that would probably help but i'm just saying there needs to be moderation and that's all there is to it just hot drinks like tea definitely hot tea tea and hot water with lemon honey you can even have it with lemon. Sometimes I have it with lemon and not honey, and it still works the same way. Sometimes I have it with honey, and it works. Definitely have honey. You could just straight up have, like I said in the first video, part one, get honey sticks. If you got like an orchard store near you or even at a supermarket, doesn't really matter which. I'm pretty sure they sell them at supermarkets. Definitely get that. Um, stay away from throat lozenges. If you're sick, stay away from that because throat lozenges a lot of them contain menthol and that would actually hurt your voice even more what i would what i usually do when i'm sick is obviously drink a lot of water drink a lot of fluids and i gargle warm salt water 
um, once every hour. And surprisingly enough, when I started doing this, when my voice was hoarse and when I was really sick, it started, it's, it started getting better and that's all there is to it. Guys, I hope you liked the video. Like, comment, and share. And also subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. The audio versions of these, this podcast will be on SoundCloud. I will keep you guys updated if I choose any other sources for this podcast. But guys, I will see you next time. And as always, stay tuned.